Katniss's makeup. She really let her natural beauty do all the work when it came to her makeup in the movie, but I wanted to spice it up a little bit with several all-natural shades inspired by the woods, as she called it, or forest in the Hunger Games arena. And my face has already been set with foundation, powder, and eye primer, all that good stuff. So I'm applying a highlight color all over my lid as a base, and this will ensure that all those foresty colors come out bright and vibrant. Next, I'm going to apply this beautiful gold eyeshadow from L'Oreal in the shade Eternal Sunshine. And this is really going to make my eyes literally shine with its golden hues. And this color will represent the golden Hunger Games seal or emblem, as some might call it. And it's just really going to give my eyes that pop that it needs. Now to add that pop of forest color. So using my vegan palette from Urban Decay, I'm applying Herb, which is a gorgeous green shade with gold flakes within it. And I'm just applying it to the center of my lid and outwards towards my crease. And this color represents the green forest of the Hunger Games arena. To add depth to this look, I'm using the shade Smog, also from the Urban Decay Vegan Palette, and I'm just applying this to my crease, and this will really complete the look, and it'll give it that earthy vibe that it needs. And this color represents the earth and the beautiful trees that Katniss loves to climb in and drop bees nests on the bad guys. Thumbs up if you thought the bad guys deserved it, because I do. Using the shade Herb once again, I'm applying it just below my waterline and smoking it out with a fluffy brush to really dramatify the look. I don't even know if that's a word, but it's a word now. Next, using my NYX liquid eyeliner, I'm just lining my top lid with a sharp wing, which represents Katniss's sharp arrows, and the black represents the coal that they mine in her district. District 12, yeah, thumbs up for District 12. Next is my NYX Waterproof Eyeliner. I'm just lining my waterline very lightly since Katniss really wasn't wearing any eyeliner in the movie. I wanted to keep the eyeliner less dramatic than usual. We don't want our Katniss looking like a raccoon, do we? Next, I just gave my lashes a little curly fry. I mean, pie. I have food on my mind right now. And then I just applied some natural looking lashes to amp up my look. And next, using my NYC Big Bold Mascara, I'm just applying this to my lashes and the fake lashes to sort of merge them together and marry them. They're getting married. Congratulations, lashes and lashes. Now, using my NYX Illuminating Bronzer in Magnetic, I'm applying this wherever the natural light normally hits my face because in the movie, Katniss was a little tan and sunburned due to the fact that she was running for her life. So, I totally understand, girl. And next, using my NYX New Project Runway Blush from L'Oreal. I'm just applying a little bit more suntan to my cheekers. And now to finish off this look, I'm just applying my Revlon Lip Butter in the shade Berry Smoothie. Mwah! Now for the hair. So in the movie, Katniss was wearing a Dutch braid that was braided across the back of her head and tied off at the other side. And I know it's a little difficult for some to learn this method, so I'm sticking to what I know best, and that is the side Dutch braid. It looks very similar to Katniss's hairstyle without all the work. Not to mention the fact that I really didn't have time to practice it. So starting out with this side Dutch braid, you wanna part your hair obviously to the side, whichever side you prefer. And from your part, divide your hair into three sections. So a Dutch braid is basically a reverse fringe braid. So instead of weaving the hair over the middle section, you wanna weave it under the middle section of hair. Then you wanna begin grabbing sections of hair from your head and merging them into the side sections that will be going underneath the middle section. And afterwards, secure with a rubber band and be sure to tug on your braid to give it lots of volume and messiness. Because in the movie, Katniss's braid was very messy and windblown, so be sure to pull down some hair on the sides. Next, I'm adding a little more volume to my braid by poofing it up in the front, and it is your choice whether or not you want to do this step. I just love my poofs. A lot of you know that. So I guess we can call this look finished. And I know, Breland, you should never do that again. So 
for my Katniss costume, I pretty much found everything that I needed in my closet. But first, let me show you my accessories. So my first accessory is my bow. And it is homemade, and we made it out of bamboo and this tweed string, I guess you could call it. And my arrow is made out of a stick, a feather from my boa, that same tweed string, and a little bit of fabric for the arrow part. So the strap around my shoulder is a men's belt, and then I'm wearing my favorite brown leather jacket, my olive green shirt, and some jeggings, some black jeggings, that is. Then last but not least, I'm wearing my brown lace-up leather booties, and that's all for this look. Please subscribe to become an official Hunger Games critic, 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 and don't forget to add me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all those other